here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 While out in the forest looking for rare new plants one day, the Hemulin was surprised to come upon a huge tent he had never seen before. Huh? Looks like a circus tent. Oh dear, look at those dark clouds. It's a good thing we managed to get the tent up before it started raining. Yes. Oh, hello Mr. Hemulin. Is that your tent? Yes, I'm going to build my flying ship in it. Oh, are you? Great. Then the blueprints must be ready and you solved your problems. Well, sort of. What's the problem, Stork? You usually sound more confident than that. Since my first flying ship was such a flop, uh, I'm not saying much this time. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to seeing it anyway. Oh, the thunderstorm's almost here. I'll be going. I'll be going home, too. Uh, Snork Maiden? Yes, Snork? Uh... What's the matter? We put up the tent in a stupid place. Stupid? Why? I'll tell you why. Because we really ought to put it up deep in the forest somewhere, right out of sight. Here everyone can see, and if my flying ship is a flop, they'll know. Oh, don't be silly. Of course it won't be a flop. Just now you were so confident when we were putting up the tent. Well, yes. But then the Hemulin came, just like everyone else will come. Don't be silly, Snork. The clouds are predicting a thundering success for you. Well, maybe. I'd better get to work. You go on home and I'll see you later. Yes, Snork. Gracious, I'd better run. The rain's about to start. Yes. Bye, Edison. I'll make it fly. Just see if I don't. It started raining! I'll just shelter here for now. No point in getting wet. I guess Snork Maiden hasn't woken up yet. No. Snopkin said she was hit by lightning. Yes, we think so. So let's see. She looks okay, but she's still unconscious. Has anyone told Snork? Yes, Papa has. Here, I brought some tea. Oh, thank you, Mama. Still no change? No, she hasn't moved. Really? That is surprising. I was almost certain she would have woken up by now. She's so still. I'm so worried. She'll be fine. I really hope she will, but what if she doesn't wake up soon? Have you tried? No, because I didn't know if it would be a good idea to disturb her. You might try calling her name. Good idea. Of course, that massive thunderclap must have pretty well deafened her, so I guess we shouldn't waste any time whispering at her. Hey, wake up, Snork Maiden! Boo! 
Hey, Snork Maiden! Please wake up, will you? Hey, Snork Maiden! Better wake up, Snork Maiden, or I'm gonna bite you! Please be quiet. Little Mai, she spoke. Please be quiet. The shouting's hurting my head. There, I told you. She's waking up now. <sighs> That's wonderful. It means she's going to be all right. I'm just glad I didn't have to shout any louder to wake you up, because if I'd really yelled at the top of my voice, I might have damaged your head or something. Here. Why not have some tea, Snork Maiden? That'll wake you up. Thank you. Uh, what happened to me? You just had a lucky escape. Snufkin found you under a tree hit by lightning. Snufkin? Yes, he was worried the lightning might have come down through the tree and hit you. I remember it was raining. I sheltered under a tree and then all of a sudden there was this loud bang. You were lucky. Trees are dangerous places in storms. I must say thank you to Snufkin. He said he was going off somewhere as soon as the rain stopped. Oh, don't you know where? No, I don't. Maybe for a walk in the woods? Not there. Somewhere else. Huh? huh? What's the matter? What did I say? Somewhere else. That's right. You're trying to tell us Snufkin hasn't gone for a walk in the woods? No, he hasn't. He's gone the other way to do some fishing. But you've been asleep in here for hours. How could you know where he is? Well, I know because I can see it. It's all your fault. What? It's obvious. When you yelled in her ear just now, you must have caused damage to her brain. No, wait, Moomin. Don't you go trying to blame me for that. It was all caused when the lightning hit her in the first place. Oh, stop arguing, you two. There's nothing wrong with Snork Maiden's mind. She just had a dream and hasn't quite woken up yet, that's all. What are you talking about? I'm wide awake. Yes, I know you are, but you're still remembering your dream. That's right. Have a nice lie down. Hey, I can sing a lullaby for you. Don't you dare. I will if I want to. Oh. <gasps> what, Snork Maiden? It's Snufkin. Why? What's wrong with Snufkin? Snufkin's in terrible danger. Hurry up or we'll be too late to save him. Snork Maiden! <laughs> wait, Snork Maiden, wait for me. Snork Maiden! not. This is getting really odd. What if Snork Maiden actually does know something about Snufkin? Snork Maiden! Where is Snufkin? Straight ahead, but hurry. We still have quite a long way to go before we get there. So what could be so dangerous about fishing? I don't know. We'll find that out when we get there. Oh! Watch out! What do you think you're doing, Snork Maiden? going to rescue Snufkin. But how can you be so sure he's even here? Oh, he is. <laughs> Look over there. Snufkin. And he's taking a nap. Look there at the top of the cliff. It's going to fall down. What are we going to do? It's about to fall. Snufkin, wake up. Snufkin. Wake up, Snufkin. We oh, can't hear us above the noise. You don't know what my voice is capable of. Snufkin! Wake up! Snufkin! 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 Wake up! Snufkin! Snufkin! Over here! It's Nord Maiden. I guess she must be feeling better if she's come out. That rock's gonna fall over her head! Be careful! What do you want? Thank goodness Snork Maiden wasn't badly hurt by that lightning bolt. Well, physically, she's fine, but... Only physically? She suddenly rushed away, saying Snufkin was in great danger. I don't quite understand. You're trying to tell me Snork Maiden can predict what's going to happen? Well, I was thinking about you, Snufkin, and then suddenly I could see you fishing, and I just knew that something bad was about to happen to you. Maybe you are psychic in that case. Really? Yeah, and it was my shouting that made her whatever you just said she was. It was the lightning. 
I guess it was. But mind you, I've got to admit I've never heard of lightning having that effect on people before. That goes to show Snork Maiden is a bit special. Thank you. Snork Maiden, you say you saw Snufkin fishing. Are you absolutely sure it wasn't just a dream? Yes, quite sure. Well, I'm not so sure. It all sounds very unlikely to me. Perhaps it was just a coincidence. Some coincidence that would be. I saw what I saw. So with a power like that, could you tell me whether my flying ship will be successful or not? Let's see. I guess I can always try. That's ridiculous. That's superstition. And it doesn't make any kind of scientific sense. I couldn't possibly believe it. Of course you couldn't believe it, but that doesn't mean I might not be psychic all the same. What are you doing? I'm trying to find out if your flying ship will be successful or not. Stop it, Snort Maiden. Why? I don't want you to predict it. If I know it will fail, I won't want to go on. You said you didn't believe in it. Oh, well, I don't. But still, I... Let me try, Snork. I'm almost sure I would foresee it would be a success because you're so clever. Well, maybe you're right. No, stop it, Snork Maiden. I don't want to know. Why not? Suppose it is a failure. You can do something else. Yes, I have to admit you've got a point there, but the trouble is I don't want to do something else. All I want to do is build a flying ship. Well? No, I've decided I don't want to know anything. Forget it. Goodness! Listen, you two! Fly back home immediately! There's a nasty snake that's after your babies! If you hurry, there's still enough time! There! I've brought in all the scaffolding now, Snork. Thank you, Moomin. Just put them down with the others, will you? Okay. You're a great help to me, Moomin. Thank you. You're welcome. I just can't wait to see your flying ship finished, that's all. Hey, why isn't Snork Maiden here? She did want to help, but I told her not to, Moomin. Whatever for? It's because she can see the future. If she's here with me, sooner or later, she'll see if my ship will be a success, and then she'll just go and tell me. That would really take the fun out of things. I don't want to know the future. Yes, of course. I understand how you feel. You know... What? Tell you the truth, I'm really too scared to ask her. Huh? Oh, I know it's not a scientific way of thinking, but I can't help it. If I knew it would be a failure, I... 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 It wasn't all that difficult. I knew you were looking for me, and I know exactly what you're going to ask me. What then? You want me to use my psychic powers to make uh -huh. you money. Hey, Snork Maiden, that's incredible. You really do have the power to see the future. Maybe, but I still don't want to team up with you. Why not? Because it won't work. What won't? We wouldn't get rich that way. Honestly, we wouldn't. Oh, you're just saying that. I'll change our future, you'll see. Come on, Snork Maiden. All right, I foresee that no matter how often I say no, I'll go with you in the end. So I might as well give in now. This is it, sir. Step right this way. Can the lady really foretell the future? Oh, yes, guaranteed. I must be honest with you, I'm very worried about my health. I don't think I've got all that long left to live. No, that's not right. Look, you can give it to me straight. How much time have I got? Mm, not there, not there, ah, there. I see. Well, somehow it is almost a relief to know the end is approaching. Sort of. You have about 90 years to go before you need to start worrying. That's plenty of time yet. Have I really? Maybe even a little more than that if you exercise once a day and try to keep a good diet. Oh, 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 oh. I see. This is all very well, but what am I going to do with this lot? 
Just look at all these. Special medicines. I bought them to try and make myself better, but it looks like I won't be needing them anymore now. They're all yours. As I thought, Mrs. Philly Junk. Hello, Sniff. I believe you've come here to find a fortune teller. Good gracious, how could you have known that? Ah, I know all. I am the manager of a very famous psychic, you know. I heard a rumor, but if you're the manager, no thanks. Huh? Uh, hang on a minute, Mrs. Philly Junk. Why should I trust your medium? Or you, in fact? You can trust me. After all, don't forget, we foretold you're coming here, didn't we? And if our predictions don't all come true, you just have to ask for a refund. Why not give it a go anyway? Please go straight in, Mrs. Philly Junk. Are you really saying I have to go in here? What were you expecting, a palace or something? Get ready, here's a client to see you. It's Snork Maiden. Oh, hello, Mrs. Philly Junk. What is this all about? Well, it's like this. Snork Maiden was struck by lightning and now she can see the future. No one said it was you. Well, it is, unfortunately. Do sit down. Very well. I'll give you a chance, then. Yeah, there's just one small thing. We have to be paid beforehand. Oh, do you really? Yes, with money, not medicine or anything like that. What do you mean? Uh, nothing at all. Never mind. Thanks a lot. Now, Mrs. Philly Junk, you go ahead and ask Snork Maiden questions on anything you want to know about. I'm ready, Snork Maiden. Tell me all about my future. Certainly, ma'am. I can see. What is it you see? It's getting clearer. I can see you, Mrs. Philly Chonk. Oh, but are you sure it's really me you can see? Yes, with your parasol. Tell me what I'm doing. You're waving the parasol. Am I? Yes, and you're looking extremely angry. What else? You're chasing someone with the parasol. Look, forget the parasol. Tell me what else you can see. You're running, that's all. That's all? Yeah, why don't you have another look, Snork Maiden? I see now. Yes, what do you see now? I see Sniff and I running. Snork Maiden, what on earth does all that have to do with Mrs. Philly Junk? Oh, goodness. What is it? I saw who Mrs. Philly Junk was chasing, us. Just what are you talking about? Are you trying to make fun of me, young lady? Time uh. to go, Sniff. How dare you try and cheat me? You see, just like I said. It looks like you were right. You're a fraud and you're impertinent with it. No, no, Mrs. Philly Junk, please. Uh, hey, Snark made it. You just wait. Help, Please help. don't, Mrs. Philly Junk. You took my money and her false pretenses. We did it! Snark Maiden foretold this! It was true! Look, it's happening now! You just wait! You do understand now, don't you? We're never gonna get rich doing this! Oh, well, here's a much better idea. I've got a coin here, and I'm gonna use it to buy a lottery ticket. Lottery? That's right, it's a piece of cake. All you have to do is look into the future and give me the winning number. It's as simple as that. We can't lose! I can't see anything unless I close my eyes! That's no problem. Give me your hand, and I'll guide you. Keep your eyes closed. Is it working? Yes, I'm starting to see something, but it's a very long number. Come on, I'm ready to memorize it. Number 23? Number 23? Number 17? Number 17? Come back, Scoundrels. Give me my money back. Hey, don't interrupt her. <gasps> Come on, Snork Maiden. What's next? Number 40? Number 40? 37? Number 37? Not so fast. Quick, hurry up. Hello, Snork Maiden. What's going on? Moomin! Hey, keep your eyes closed! Save me, Moomin! Snark Maiden, what are the other numbers? What's the matter, Snark Maiden? <laughs> Stop that, Mrs. Philly <laughs> Jaw! Wait, wait, I'll get them! Everybody, are you all right? 
I'm okay, but Snork Maiden's fainted. Oh, please wake up, Snork Maiden. Snork Maiden. I'm very sorry it all fell down, Snork. It's my fault Mrs. Phillyjohn came in. Easy to rebuild. What's more important is how you're feeling. I'm fine. I think I must have banged my head. Don't worry. Now, what was that number again? I've forgotten. <gasps> What's the problem? I can't see it. You must. Well, I can't. In fact, I can't see a single thing about the future anymore. What? Have you really lost your psychic power? I do seem to have done, and if you ask me, get riddance. It was a pain. You can't have. It's a disaster. That's great, Snork Maiden. What a relief. You know, I'm rather sorry they've gone now, in a way. Oh, why is that, Snork? I think it's because the Snork wanted to know if his flying ship would work. But you told me before you didn't want to know about anything. I did, but then I thought afterwards perhaps I did want to know. Oh, Snork, I don't have to see into the future for that. Huh? No, I know you and I know how clever you are. And I promise your flying ship is certain to be a wonderful success. I have confidence in you. Oh, thank you, Snork Maiden. Come on, it's high time we started rebuilding. Right, we'll have to get a stronger pole this time. So will you let me help you now? Yes, of course. Hey, Sniff, will you lend a hand too? Well, maybe. With all three helping Snork with the building work, the flying ship is bound to be finished soon. So let's just keep our fingers crossed.